I wanted to take a look at the Atlantic Division today and look at some teams that haven't made the playoffs in the last few seasons. And I truly believe each one of these teams might have a chance at a playoff spot this season. The Red Wings, Sabres, and Senators are teams that have been in rebuild for a few seasons now, but I think it's time to turn the page and look at the future for these franchises. Let's start off with the Detroit Red Wings. They look like a completely different team from last season. With the additions of Andrew Kopp, David Perron, this will be Oscar Sundquist's first season with the Red Wings after the Nick Letty trade, Dominic Kubalik, Oli Mata, Ben Sherratt, and their new starting goaltender, most likely their number one, Vili Husso. Now you take all these new faces and you put them on a team with Dylan Larkin, Tyler Bertuzzi, Lucas Raymond, and Moritz Sider who's coming off a colder winning season. And there are a lot more young players coming up to that Detroit Red Wings system. I truly believe the Red Wings could be a huge threat to make the playoffs this year. They have a new head coach as well, who has previously won Stanley Cups. So this guy is bringing some success to the Detroit Red Wings locker room as well. And we all know who their general manager is. Now to the team who most likely had the best offseason of any team in the NHL this year, the Ottawa Senators. They got started off very early, acquiring Alex DeBrincat. Signing Ottawa native Claude Giroux and acquiring Cam Talbot in a trade with the Minnesota Wild. Now listen, they absolutely have a better roster on paper than they have in years past. This might be the best that we've seen since possibly that 2017 Senators team. All of their young guys are also now going to be a year older, more experienced. Can the Ottawa Senators be a playoff team? I think it's very possible. Now a team who didn't really make too many offseason moves, the Buffalo Sabres, there's just something about them that I like. They were one of those teams that were pests in the last few months of the NHL season, trying to spoil as many teams' chances to make the playoffs as they could. I truly believe it all comes from their head coach, Don Granato. I think you gotta watch out for them this season. Like I said before, the Sabres didn't make too many additions to their core. Tage Thompson had a breakout year last year. Alex Tuck will be healthy. Jeff Skinner, we all know how streaky he is. He could pot 50 goals a season. Let's not forget one of their forwards, Rasmus Asplund, who was one of the better defensive forwards in the NHL this year. They have a few really good prospects coming up. Owen Power came over for eight games last year. He will most likely be on the Buffalo Sabres opening night lineup, in my opinion. He looked NHL ready last year, so I don't see how he doesn't make the team this year. I think the Buffalo Sabres, maybe not a playoff team yet, but they're going to be very fun to watch. What is your opinion on these three NHL teams? Do you think one of them will finally crawl out of the basement and make the Stanley Cup playoffs? Like I said, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.